Ah, glory to the Punjab Empire, and welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2 Horror Gorgeous The Punjab Let's Play. So, as everyone knows, I have now started pronouncing the name right Pun Punjab. It was really interesting to learn that this was not actually pronounced Punjab, but Punjab. Okay, that is something I learned culturally today as an American. That it's not pronounced Punjab, it's the J is not silent, but it's actually Punjab. Okay. Next thing, guys, you have to talk about is our invasion of the British. It is, it is, it is. Um, I got some sad news. Oh, why right when the music is playing really, really nicely? That's perfect time to give you guys all sad news. Um, I. Well. This is actually a legit thing, so don't think I'm gonna go out back of my wood, but I really don't think we're actually... Friend, do not text me. I am not in the mood to be text. Hey. Friends, just can't give you... Just can't leave you alone when you're YouTubing, I swear. But anyways, um... I don't think we can form the... Pin the Punjab Empire. And it's not because it's not because this was impossible, because I don't think this is an impossible. Stupid fly! Get at like this fly has been like buzzing around my head for like the last couple of minutes. It's kind of annoying me now. I feel like this fly needs to die. Hey. Ah oh, dang. Yeah, <laughs> sorry guys, I keep getting distracted. Okay, I'm gonna stay on this. Um we won't be able to for form the Empire because I messed up too much. And what I mean by messed up too much is that um, when I was looking over the guides and stuff and looking over like how to make India, um, I realized a couple things. One, apparently by the guide standards, I should have already finished up with with my war against almost so close. Um, I should have finished up with my war with British by 1890 and not should have just started the war. So what that means is that I should have already finished up, you know, like, taking over the entirety of India and then starting to, like, spear all these little nations into my own power. Okay? That was quite shocking and quite annoying, but I think, think that, think that was one thing. Two... I should never have gotten a, a, like, puppet thing for Bakura. That just, that wasted infamy right there. That was just a complete waste of infamy right there. This, these guys were completely useless this entire game. I mean, this entire game. These guys have not made one stupid soldiers. I kind of wish... Almost! You were gonna die at some point. But, I kind of wish that these guys were just gone because they were terrible. Just plain out terrible. I mean, they did nothing for us. They just destroyed our military back in the very beginnings of the game. And overall, just caused much havoc. I mean, yeah, why, why do we need Bakura again? What, what, was, what was the benefit of this? So, yeah, besides for the Bakura thing, I think... I think I could have probably done this, but I think I'm way too late in the game now. Because at this rate, it, at this rate, guys, I would not form India. Wow. I would not form India until like 18, until like 1920. And that's if I'm lucky. Because as I've estimated it, and I've run some simulations of the future and basically I have to be I kind of missed my window of opportunity to become a great power because I didn't conquer enough and I didn't industrialize quick enough to become a great power so like seriously like seriously we needed to become a great power like maybe roughly 10 years ago yeah that's a long time yeah, that's, that's about the time we need to become a great power. And so, right now we're in a very awkward state where we can't really do any of the sphering. Because, I mean, if we could do some of the sphering right about now, it might. I might, might have been able to do that. But it seems like I've tried a couple, like I said, i tried a couple simulations in the future. 
to try to see what I can do. And basically, every time I keep coming up with a plan to, you know, like, try to become a great power so that I can start fighting Great Britons, because we need to make sure that we were a great power before a certain point so that we could start using, you know, um, Great War causes Bell Eyes. That was the only reason why, if you guys remember, I held on for that episode last time. And also because I'm an ignorant American and I do not give up. Even if the odds are against me, I do not give up. Um, but yeah, without having those great cause, great war causes bad eyes, it's this. There's, there's honestly no chance of of this happening. Like there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, approximately about thirteen regions I would have to take. Okay. And before anyone says anything, no, I will not go over the infinity limit. The infinity limit is hell if you are a player that is not big. It's very good if you are like a very powerful France or you're a very powerful North Germanic Federation or an Austria or anything like that because then you have the army and military to just take on the entire world. But when you are a third, well, not really third world country, but just a country like mine who doesn't really have that big of an army, yeah, almost all these great powers who will get a causes belli against you for war for containment will instantly destroy you even if they travel long distances they will still be able to destroy you um it's just the facts i could try to hold out as much as i can but it would still in the end damage me more beyond belief because i would honestly lose more than i would actually be able to chew or something like that i'd bite off more than i would be able to chew and I'm not even sure the British would even accept me taking like two regions or three regions or anything like that. I mean, I barely get them to accept like one region. How would I get them to accept two regions? Okay. So. Where does that leave this Let's Play? Well, obviously, this Let's Play was geared up to the fact that I want to form India. And. <laughs> making some mistakes along the way, that was not helpful to this Let's Play's productivity. Um. So I got two options for you guys. I'm gonna let you guys vote in the comments and I guarantee you better vote. Because I don't want to hear any kind of comment saying, Oh well I, oh well this is not what I want. This is what this is what I really want. And if I don't see a comment in there, I don't want to hear it. Because if you didn't vote, you don't have any say in this. Okay? Okay. So basically there's two options I see from this. The first option is I rewind the clock back to when like I was just beginning when I was just beginning the game maybe back when I just had like Afghanistan because I would really want to get past the point where I fought Afghanistan Afghanistan was a hard fight and then we would go from there to try to redo everything with the Persians and everything because now that I know that that these other great powers over here will actually intervene even though you know I declared war on not on them and now they're cool later I guess it still happens so you know, I'd be a little bit smarter in that respect. You know, we could probably do a much better job taking over Persia because I actually know how to do it very effectively now. I mean, very effectively. It's really quite. I mean, if you really, if you really think about it, Persia is really a quite easy target. You just need to get that foothold and everything, and you know, you'll be fine. And you know, from there maybe we'll industrialize even quicker. I think I industrialized in 1868. I think I could probably, if I was to do a much more compact strategy get it back in 1855 about six years before anything happens and six years before they even had colonization going over here this is also the other reason is because um the exponential growth of all the great powers is going to be too great for me to keep up even if i hypothetically speaking did a cause belly to cut down the africa or the ottomans these guys over here might form or um I don't know, Sweden could get that, you know, exponential growth in the latest century. I mean, we're at the latest century where everyone gets like that. They jump from like 1,000 to like 7,000, so, yeah. It's a big jump, so, yeah. That's our first option, so I rewind the clock back to that point, and we try to do a much better job of cleaning up the colonization, or cleaning up this part of taking over Persia, and, you know, fighting the British with much more vulgar and much better tactics than I did the first time around. Boy. Yeah, I could probably, like, the first time around when I was fighting the British, I made some stupid mistakes. Yeah, this, this campaign is going to be known as stupid mistakes, seriously, because I just made a lot of stupid mistakes. Um, we could do that, or if you guys want to, I could just, you know, 
acknowledge the fact that I will never be able to form India, but just go on to just like, just go on the campaign and just see how I can do with the Pun with the Punjab Empire. You know, just just seeing how long what happens. You know, just not it's not really an Indian formation. It's just gonna be like another country and see how we did. I'll take opportunities as they come and you know do whatever I want to. So. Those are your two options, guys. Please vote in the comments and tell me what you guys think. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.